In this tutorial, we're going to put the finishing touches on our, on our menu recreation by adding an image-only menu item and adding a search bar. So you can follow the, uh, the support guide, which shows under adding content to your Uber menu. You can add a, an image with no text. So you can see right now in our demo, our home page just says home page, and that's kind of boring. So we'll go to our appearance menu page, open the home page menu item. The first thing we want to do is uh, click disable text because we don't want home page to be showing up anymore. Then we're going to go ahead and set our thumbnail. So we click set thumbnail, select our files. Select the image that we want to use for this menu item. Give it a title. Now we click Use as Featured Image again. Save our changes. Close this window. Now we'll save our menu. Once the menu's finished saving, we'll go to the home page and refresh, and you'll see that we've got our image only menu item that links to the home page. So the next thing we want to do is add a search bar on the far right here. And you can find the instructions for that in the support guide under adding content to your Uber menu under included shortcodes, search bar. So you can see our short code is really simple. It's just Uber menu search, and that just grabs the standard WordPress search uh, markup and puts it into the menu. So we want to make sure we have allow content overrides on if we don't already, and you can do that by going to the Uber menu control panel, and you'll see under description shortcodes and widgets that we already have allow content overrides enabled. Then we're going to go to our appearance menu screen. We're going to add a custom menu item to our menu. We'll just call it search bar for now. And we're going to be using the content override here. So it's not going to be a mega menu. We're going to disable the text and disable the link. And we also want this uh, search bar to be all the way flush with the right side of the menu, so we're going to click Align Menu Item to Right Edge. Then we simply paste our shortcode into the Content Override box. And we save our menu. And once the menu is done saving, we can hit the home page, and you'll see now we have our search box right here. And that pretty much completes the tutorial on how to recreate the, the menu from the demo site. So we've created our image-only menu item, a fly-out menu, a standard mega menu with a highlighted item, this is a full width menu with six columns. This is a natural width sub menu with descriptions. Here's a natural width sub menu with icons or images. And then our full width Uber menu, which contains one widget area on top attached to a single menu item. It has three widgets attached to that widget area. And then below it, a second submenu item with a content override used to create, and it has shortcodes in it which create these three columns. These three widgets are just text widgets with included shortcodes inside them. And of course, we have our search bar, which is an additional menu item with a shortcode in it. Let's quickly compare it to the original menu. So you can see they're the same.